Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Louis Art. My name is Imanda Lukafo and today I'll be showing you guys three simple steps of adding edge marks inside of Blender. If you're not familiar with, with what edge marks can be used for, so if I can I'll put some, put some image when I'm editing this video, but basically it's just those cool wears that you get inside in the side of metals or some woods. So it comes really handy when creating textures and today I'll be showing you guys three simple steps of creating this inside of Blender. So I posted this video already I think last week but I'm reposting it because I got a new way I can get put in better audio for my tutorials and I'm really excited about that. So I felt since this topic is really important for most users I choose I decided to redo the tutorial to better pass the information to you guys so the steps is just go into select your uh, mesh and go into your edit mode then holding down alt you can click on edge and select the loop so that's what i'm doing so to select multiple you can hold down shift and alt and then select more so we'll just do this so let's say this is the edge that we want to see this effect in. So next, still selecting the, um, the edges, then we go in for the next step, we go into the vertex paint. So right now it's just all white. Uh, so you can control the color here. And to fill the object, you press Shift K. So if I'm to select, I'm press Shift K so the whole object turns blue. But that's not what we want. So I'll just change it back to white and hit shift K again. So to isolate those edges, what you do is switch the maxing method into vertex, this button here. So when you click that and if we switch the color to black and press shift K once more, so you can see we've created like a nice uh, mask. So right now it's looking okay but we need to sample it more to be able to use it more effectively so um, the next step is to go into our shading view so I have been set up for node and let's go into the object mode and press new material so this is gonna be a simple scene so I'll be just using a an emission shader so no, no need for any complicated stuff so if we press shift z for render rendering in the view is just all white the next step is to import the vertex group the vertex color we created and you do that by adding an attribute node so in 2.8 there's nothing like this vertex color what you get is just the attribute node so for you to get this vertex color anytime you want is Selecting the mesh, go to its property and under vertex color, this any text here, any name here is what you're gonna input here. So let's do that. So when we try to preview it, so you can see we're getting the result. So next, um, let's use play with it to get the desired effect. So we just want to add like a, in under the converter, we want to get a color ramp and then so as you can see as we are moving this we can play with the width that we want so what i want is something like this a bit thin because you don't want it so prominent in your texture just want it to be little though you can see modify it because we are going to also bake out this mask so i'll be showing you guys after this uh, step so let's say i'm happy with this result and it look good but it's just a simple line so we want to get like a nice um, effect going through it like showing that it's actually damaged that it damaged accumulated over time um, so to do that we add a texture noise texture so I'll just reuse this color ramp node so let's open full and I will reset the node and once I do that I will also add a mix node and set it to subtract 
factor of one so before that i want to play with the values of the noise so before that i will increase the noise to something like 20 and so you want to get this kind of result like very harsh noise like so this is going to affect the visibility of the line and if I any preview this one so it seems like nothing's happened but if we switch places so you start seeing the effect so you want to increase the noise to make it more visible as you can see we're getting the effect we want so the higher the number of the noise the more the more visible is going to be so you can see modify the settings so if I'm to increase the uh, dark values, we're getting more width in the noise. So let's say I'm happy with something like this. So I want to bake this out into a texture so I can use in my texturing process. So what you do then is the simple way of like extracting at, um, color information out of the blender texture node 3 is you add the texture node texture image texture node and create a new texture let's just name this mask okay and you can leave it at any color and you just input it here in this one so selecting this one and shift selecting the material and then you go into your render panel this camera here and go down to bake so you can you will see the big type you want to go and choose emit so uh, this means that it's going to be a flat image it's not going to have any shading so that's what we want in this situation and all you just need to do is hit bake and it's saying no active uv map onto Cezan. so let's just create a rough one by pressing you and doing smart UV and we bake that again so it's dep depending on the the complexity the complexity of your node 3 that's how long it's gonna take to bake but this is not so um, complicated so it's not gonna take so much time so approximately maybe like less than 20 seconds you get your result So yeah, that's it basically. So that's the steps of creating the edge. You just select your edge and then use it in your texture, in your node tree. So if I press Alt Z for previewing, preview um, the texture, previewing. <laughs> What's happening to my word? Ah, okay. So um, so as you can see, this is just the texture. So I've gotten texture out of this and now you can use this in your texturing process so probably in the future I will show you how to use this kind of mask to isolate um, the object when actually texturing in the texture paint mode so thank you again for watching this tutorial so I hope you enjoy it if you hope to see more from me hit the subscribe and you and the notification bell so you get notified or updated anytime I post something new and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up so that youtube can suggest it to more people so uh, more of your friends and your work colleagues can watch this video so thank you again bye bye for now see you next time